Good morning. Jerome Ferris here, and this is The Gift Podcast. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. We praise God and thank God for this another day in which he have made. Today's word, give yourself a gift. Coming out of Ephesians chapter 4, verses 31 and 32, where it says, Get rid of all bitterness, rage, anger, harsh words, and slander, as well as all types of malicious behavior. Instead, be ye kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you. You know, it's been said that, um, that life is an exercise of forgiveness. And in order for us to be who God wants us to be, we must practice forgiveness. Now, we all want God to forgive us. When we have sinned, when we have disappointed him, we go to him in prayer and we we confess and we say, Lord, forgive me. Well, that's what God wants us to do towards others. Now, we must understand when it comes to forgiveness, we think that forgiveness is for the other person. But actually, forgiveness is for you. So today, give yourself a gift. Give the gift of forgiveness. Be willing to forgive. Now, one thing we know uh, when we think of forgiveness, um, forgiveness is a way of releasing the past. Do, do you invest more time, more energy in the past? Until you forgive, you're trapped. You're trapped as a prisoner of your own creation. And, and most of us don't, don't spend much time thinking about forgiveness. We worry. Uh, we think about the injustice that was done against us and the people who have, have wronged us. But today, God wants us to know that he has a better plan. And, 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 and that plan is forgiveness. Do not be caught up and enslaved by bitterness, but embrace the freedom that forgiveness gives. In Matthew chapter 6, verses 14 to 15, Jesus said, for if you forgive people their wrongdoing, your heavenly father will forgive you as well. But if you don't forgive people, your father will not forgive you your wrongdoing. In other words, it's it's a cycle, a, a, a cycle whereby if we forgive others, God will then forgive us. And, and, and that's what what's really a blessing. Forgiveness is the key that unlocks the door of resentment and handcuffs hate. It's the power that breaks the chain of bitterness and the shackles of selfishness. I, I, I like to put it this way, forgiveness. It's a house cleaning of the heart. Does your heart need to be cleaned today? Remember that when you forgive other people, you're giving yourself a gift. And, and God knew that it would be hard for us to forgive, didn't he? But that forgiving is the only way that we can find real peace. So give yourself a gift. Let that gift be forgiveness. Be ye kind one to another tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, have forgiven you. Be blessed today. Our prayer, eternal God, our Father, we praise you and we thank you. Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you for this, this reminder, Lord God, of the importance of forgiving. And as Peter asked Jesus the question, how, how often, how many times should I forgive someone? His reply was seven times 70. 
And what that says to me, Lord God, is that forgiveness ought to become who we are. It ought to be, Lord, habitual. It ought to be something that we, Lord, because we're reminded of of your your love toward us and your willingness to forgive us if we confess and we come to you and ask for forgiveness. You're faithful, Lord, in that. And so, God, you you require of us likewise that we will forgive one another. Help us, O oh God, that we do your will today. This is our prayer. And this is, in Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Give yourself a gift. Please share this word with someone today. The Lord's will will be back tomorrow with another word from the Lord. Remember, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. God bless you. Bye-bye.